Hello guys. All right, this is my second video today. Uh, this is Ayokole again from Blooming Gardens. And I just want to show you what we are also working on as a trial. You know, cassava is one of the, the staple crops in Nigeria. And uh, you can use it for all sorts of things. Gari, fufu, uh, what is this cassava for sale? Tapioca, uh, all, all sorts of stuff. You, it's one of the most commonly grown crop. But I just discovered that everybody that is growing cassava is poor. Sorry, not everybody, but majority of the people growing cassava. The poor guys, poor peasant guys. And I'm asking myself, isn't there a better way to, to grow it uh, and uh, make it profitable? Because if it's something that everybody needs, I, I mean, I'm just, I just mentioned the uh, consumption requirements now. Even when you talk about industrial use, there is use for you to produce ethanol and the likes. Um, there's a lot of industrial use for it. So I'm asking myself, why can't we put some brain into the cultivation of this crop? So we're doing a trial here. You know me, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of uh, irrigation for all your crops. You can see what irrigation is doing to my chili here. Amazing stuff. We haven't had rain in uh, six, seven, eight weeks now. But look at my guys there. They're doing fantastically well. We're going to be harvesting this on Wednesday. Anyway. Back to my story on cassava. So, you see those guys behind me there? All these guys. So, it's a trial crop that we're doing. So, I'm putting the same irrigation that I have for this purpose. I, put it, I just put out a line of drip lines here. And we planted them uh, some 30 centimeters apart, some 60 centimeters apart, and we're irrigating. Now, see how, how they're looking right now. The leaves are amazing. The, 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 everything about them. Uh, I wish I had some. Is there any cassava growing up anywhere around there? Okay, but I mean, without talking much, you can see how they're looking. Look at the stems. Look at them branching out. You see the, these guys. Because they're getting enough water all around, all year. And um, these guys, as beautiful as they're looking right now, this is just two months old cassava, just two months, but because we've been putting water regularly. Now, I've had all sorts of stories around the fact that, oh, if you put too much, if you put water on cassava, the starch content is going to reduce, blah, blah, blah. It's fine. This is a trial. I want to see that starch content myself. And if this works wonders as we're expecting it should, if the yield uh, significantly increases as we're expecting it should, then this may be a turn around for the local farmers because just imagine if the government really wants to support these local farmers imagine if you invest a hundred thousand naira in drip irrigation for each local farmer and each local farmer with that hundred thousand irrigation can plant half an acre and each of the half an acre instead of waiting for one year to harvest maybe because of the water that you're putting you can get it harvested in six to seven months and the yields are like four, five, six times more. You know what that does to poverty elevation. All right. So anyway, I don't. I'm not really. I don't. I'm not sure yet if I'm planning to become a cassava farmer, but I'm willing to do this trial to just expose the world around the potentials when you irrigate cassava. So we we started this journey two months ago. Like I said, um, we're going to be uprooting them around six, seven months to really see how they are doing. But right now. Just look at the stem. The stems are thick and strong and firm. And the leaves are green. We haven't put much fertilizer. Did we put fertilizers? I think we should. Let's put uh, MPK 1515. Let's just put just to boost it and see what we can even get, even though it's looking really good. All right, so that's my story on cassava. Uh, and um, I'm hoping that it's going to be a fantastic story when we get to the end of the journey. So. This is me, Ayokunle, signing out, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye. If you like these videos, please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. All right, I encourage you so that we can do much more. Look at this guy, look at the stem. See how thick it is. Can you see that? Amazing, see how thick it is. Fantastic. All right, so encourage us, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll be happy to keep telling you our stories on the farm and uh, so that we can all learn and be better off. Alright, so I'll see you on the next video. Signing out. Bye.